yeah, that's right, of course. How could I forget? Hi again, if you're new around here then hello, nice to meet you and if you're returning then thank you very fucking much for coming back. This is going to be a little haul video. Uh, I thought I would make this video, the reason I put the mask on at the start as a joke because I'm fucking hilarious clearly. Um, I actually went to the shopping centre for the first time throughout all of this. I haven't been inside a shopping centre since January at some point maybe. Uh, we went away on a trip at the end of January and I think I probably went to a shopping centre just before that. Um, I'm saying shopping centre, I would say like, for all you lovely Americans out there who might just be watching me, uh, the mall. The mall, if that's what you want to, the mall, I'm going to the mall, like the shopping centre, that's what I call it. Uh, or the shops, I went to the shops, people don't really say store as much here, it's just the shop. Uh, but I went to the shopping centre or the mall, whatever you want to call it, and the nearest one to me is Silverburn in Glasgow, so it's one of these big precinct type things and there's obviously like there's a Boots which is kind of the equivalent of like an Ulta I want to say. Alta or maybe, maybe not Target because there's clothes in a Target, isn't there? Boots is like a pharmacy, but they now are trying to be like a Sephora. But it's not just like you can still go in and buy things if you have the cough or cold or God forbid you're going in any shops if you've got a cough at the moment. But if you're going in somewhere, you're going to get you know throat lozenges or something like that or paracetamol, or you can even go and get your prescription from it. You can still do all those things. You can get like your eyes tested, but in recent years, let's say in the past decade, they've definitely catered much more to the beauty side of things, hair beauty, all that kind of stuff. So there's like a Boots, there's H&M, Topshop if you like Topshop, uh, a Zara, TK Maxx, there's all these kind of shops that I'm sure are, again, in America, TJ Maxx. Why is it different there? I've never worked that out, like why do we get TK Maxx and you get TJ Maxx? Like what does it map? I genuinely don't know, if anybody knows the answer to that, let me know. It's got all those kind of shops in it and I went there today purposely to take back a pair of jeans. If I have bought anything during lockdown, I have done it online. Even if I have ordered from Boots, I've done it online rather than going into the shop. And I actually picked up three pairs of jeans from Zara. Uh, that's kind of another topic. If you follow me on Instagram, you maybe know about the jeans already. Sorry if I'm boring you. But I picked three colours and I wanted to take the khaki ones back because they just weren't the colour I wanted. They, they weren't as green as I hoped, they were more grey and I was like, ah, these are kind of shit. If I'm having to go into the shopping centre, if I'm having to go anyway, then I'm going to make myself a plan because there is things that I wanted from Boots and Superdrug and all that kind of stuff. The things that I'd said I just couldn't seem to find all in the one place online. Like I would have had to have ordered from lots of different places. So I thought, right. I'm just going to go for it, bugger it. I've got a hospital appointment this morning, I've got a dentist. So in between both those appointments, I thought, I'm going to do it. So I set myself a strategy of being like, right, I know where I'm going. The, the whole shopping centre now is a one-way system. So I thought, right, where am I going first? My first point, so obviously Zara first. I thought, right, that's going to be my first stop. I'll have a wee swing round to TK Maxx. Then I'll come back to the one-way system, go to Boots. I worked it out before I went. And I have to say, it was actually okay. It was actually okay. Now, I am not, I haven't coped well throughout this pandemic at all. Even as a nurse, like, I'm still very much like, please don't stand next to me. Uh, if I sit down to eat something at a table, like, even in work, if I sit down to eat, I wipe the table down. I take straws with me if I'm going anywhere to drink out of bottles or, and I'm not saying like I've been in hundreds of bars or pubs, like, even if I buy a bottle out of a shop, then I'm taking a straw to drink out that bottle because I don't want to, I just don't want to open myself up to something that might happen. I'm just very, very wary of everything. Uh, that's the kind of person I am. If you're watching this thinking, yeah, chill the fuck out. Well, that's fine. Each to their own. you got to do what makes you feel safe, don't you? Anyway, so went to the shopping centre, was actually okay, felt all right. Obviously everybody's wearing masks. Everybody was pretty respectful. There's the odd arsehole, but there's always the odd arsehole. Like, what are you going to do? Um, you're going to have people like that. You're never going to change that. So, as I say, just done my best to keep myself safe. And bought quite a lot of shit. Uh, so, I did go into TK Maxx. Got a couple of, actually, bought some mugs from TK Maxx. One of which is these. I'll show you them in a minute. Um, mugs from TK Maxx. A couple of candles. Um, I went into... 
H&M. I picked up a couple of bits from there. I went to Boots and absolutely went ham because they had all the Inkula stuff. Oh, and I was like, oh my God, I've been waiting for this to come back into stock for fucking ever online. And now it's actually in the shop. I could see it. So I'm going to just show you what I bought. I know I don't do a lot of haul videos as such. Uh, I say that and then I done one like watch new in August, didn't I? Mm. But I don't normally do a lot of like, oh, you know, pre-mark hauls, um, I went to Boots haul. Like, I don't normally do that. But today I'm pretty much doing that because I bought a shitload of stuff and I thought somebody might be interested in seeing it. So, here we are. If you think you'll be interested in that, stay tuned. We're like seven minutes in now, babbling away. Let's get to it. Right, I'm going to start off with Boots because it's probably... A the place I bought the most stuff in. Uh, but I think there's a lot of good offers on at Boots just now. I don't know how long these will last, but I'll try and link everything below that I've bought. Uh, they have three for two on John Frieda. I've spoke about these before. Um, I really like the luxurious volume from John Frieda, but they now do these ones, which are Core Restore, which is a protein infused, like thickening thing, but it almost makes it, like you don't feel like your hair's gloopy and weighed down. They feel nice and clean once you've used them. I particularly like this version of the volume stuff. I know they've, they've changed it. Like, I think you get like a colour one. Oh, that's lovely. Bit of my chocolate peanuts on my lip now. <laughs> we didn't promise class here, but you know. Uh, <laughs> so, I really like this version. I know they've done like luxurious volume for coloured hair. I know they've done luxurious volume for... There's just been different ones. I know there has, but I really like this one. So I bought the shampoo and conditioner in this. I haven't actually tried the shampoo before, only the conditioner, but I really enjoyed the conditioner, so that's why I picked that up. I then picked up the seven day volume and shower treatment. Now I have used this before, and it's maybe been five years? No, maybe, maybe four or something. I feel like I first used it about seven years ago. When it very first came out, I remember buying it. Um, and I've maybe bought it once or twice since. It's not something I regularly have in my arsenal in the shower or anything like that. But because it was an offer on, I thought, well, it's like three for two. I'm going to get one free. And I do think this is quite nice, actually. So it's, it's meant to be like, oh, I've just got really bright. Sorry. That's a little better, isn't it? So it's meant to be that you use this. It's like an in-shower treatment. You leave it on your hair for so long in the shower, shave your legs, whatever it is you're doing at the same time. And then you wash it off and your hair is more voluminous. Now, I do feel after the first time you've used it in the shower, yeah, my hair does feel like it's got a little bit more oomph to it, especially if I blow dry it. It's, it's got something to it. I wouldn't say it lasts seven days, but the reason I like having this to hand is because if I am gonna go somewhere, and again, it's not gonna be happening anytime soon, but if I thought I had something to go to that I wanted to have a bit more volume to my hair, then I would use this. Um, it's rained today, so my hair was looking nice and wavy, and it's now looking a little frizzy, but oh, it is what it is. It's gonna be as it is. I then picked up this Lee Stafford Keep It Clean Dry Shampoo with Pink Clay. The reason I picked this up is because Michaela McDade over at Miss Budget Beauty, I think I'd mentioned before, she has kind of raved about this as her favorite dry shampoo. And she says she really likes a dry shampoo that keeps her hair clean feeling. And I used that Chlorine one last month and I really, really enjoyed it. And it did give me that clean feeling to my hair. So I thought this was on offer as well. It was like a third off or something. So it was about three pounds, um, maybe 350 or something like that. But it was cheaper than it normally is. And I thought, well, I'm gonna pick that up because I really liked that feeling for before I was going to my work. Uh, I prefer, you know, show you. I prefer the volume one if I'm like a day like today and I want a bit of texture to my hair. But on the days when I'm going to work, I just want my hair to feel clean. So, and obviously I don't, I don't wash it every single morning I'm going to my work because I just don't have time and I like being in my bed a bit more. So make it that what you will. Uh, but I thought I would pick this up and I'll keep you posted how I get on with it. Do you know, it has been like torrential downpours all day and now the sun has just miraculously decided to come out. Now we've actually booked to go away somewhere. I can't wait. Uh, I will try and put a wee vlog up of what whatever it is we do. Uh, but we've booked to go up north in Scotland and I'm kind of thinking now, like there's meant to be a wee heat wave next week. Fucking okay, yes. I will believe it when I see it though. I will believe it when I see it. Right, I then picked up some Imperial Leather Shower Gels. I don't normally pick up shower gels or bath stuff in boots. Not unless it's like, you know, 
fancy showers. Like I don't usually just buy stuff that I know I can pick up in Asda or like Morrison's or something like that. I do usually wait till I'm going to the supermarket because they usually have better deals on things like shower gel and bath stuff. But these were all on offer for a pound each. And actually, even the likes of Home Bargains and uh, B&M's, you can't really beat that, a pound each. So, I got the Fijian Waterfall and Zesty Bergamot. Now, I really like bergamot. And obviously now, when you're in the shops, you can't smell anything. And, you know, to, for me, if you spoke to my other half, he would be like, what are you, how are you going to cope now, Alana? You can't pick things up and sniff them. Because <laughs> it was just something I automatically would always do when I was in the shop. But I just had to go on, well, I like bergamot. Let's give it a bash. Oh, no, that's quite nice. That is quite like the sea samphire and water mint one. I quite like that. It's almost quite masculine, but I like washing with things like that. I like flowery and like sweet stuff as well, but I do particularly like things like this in the shower. I then picked up the Arctic Ocean and Icelandic Moss. Uh, the, I'm not going to lie, right? The reason I picked this one up, it says two in one hair and body for men. Why it's for a man and not a woman, I don't know. Both people can use it. As I said, this one's quite a masculine scent, I suppose, but I would still use it. But I picked this one up thinking, better get Alan one, because he'll be like, oh, just get yourself hunters of nice stuff, why don't you, Alana? <laughs> So I thought better actually pick him up something as well. It is nice, it's alright. This one is a little bit more like man shower gel than than this. Like I I I prefer this one to be fair. Oh no, now what's going on, son? Oh, sorry. Sorry, I've moved you around a wee bit because the sun is now moving and I'm getting chased by a shadow. By the end of this I'll be in pitch black. <laughs> So this is a little bit more men's shower gel, so that's for him, that's not really for me. I then picked up two of their bath soaks. Uh, I was very much influenced, I'd seen Emma from its Ems channel talking about this I'm sure. I don't know if I've picked the wrong one up, but I thought I'll give it a bash, I'll see how I go with it. Oh this lighting is crazy. Yeah, so I'm not sure I've picked the right one up, it looks like the right one. But I didn't go back and check and I just thought this looks like the one everybody was kind of talking about on It's Ems channel but also I seen lots of other people then saying it was really nice. Oh that is nice. It smells like something else. What does that smell like? I think like I've said a few times I think cashmere must be a scent that I enjoy. I've got wax melts that I, I leave in like you know your burners and stuff in the house that are cashmere as well and although I didn't like the soul fragrance that I was talking about the other month um, I, I like cashmere. I think that's what the, the scent is that I enjoy. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I don't buy bubble baths that often, but when I'd seen that being spoke about and they were on offer, I was like, yeah, give me that. So the other one that I picked up, sorry, I'm just about to smell this as well, is Enchanted Escape and Midnight Orchid. What, what smell is Enchanted Escape? I have no idea. This is just a bit more floral. It's all right. It's, it's kind of fruity floral, but I don't, it's, it's certainly not as luxurious smelling as the other one, but it's just bath soap. And lastly, I picked up this one, which wasn't on offer. This one was a little bit more expensive, and it's obviously a much smaller bottle. But the reason I picked this one up is this is a bath oil, so hopefully I won't use as much. And it's got revitalizing eucalyptus in it. Now, I've been doing a little bit more exercise recently. I've just been trying my best to be a bit healthier. But my muscles have been feeling it. And I always feel like eucalyptus almost relaxes your muscles a little bit. So it is very, oh, it is very strong. It's eye-watering, to be honest with you. So hopefully that will be a winner as well. And I, I wanted a bath oil. I quite enjoy a bath oil. So I got that. Oh, even now my back, I tried to stretch it. Oh, I've done a particular workout yesterday. And my bones, my body, my thighs, everything has been kind of fucked since. <laughs> Sorry, I've moved you again because... The sun doesn't know what it's doing. Right, what am I going to do? Oh, I probably should have included this in hair care. This is my favourite brush. Uh, it's not fancy. It's just a little babbleless brush. Blush? A babbleless brush. But it is the one that I buy over and over again. I think it, and do you know what? I probably get one a year. Like, somebody bought me one at Christmas the other year. Because um, they know. It, like, as a stocking filler. Because it's what I use. It was either my mum or Alan, obviously. But... Uh, as a stocking filler and you know it, they last me a long time and this is what generally I use to dry my hair uh, my old one look at it <laughs> looking a bit worse for wear <laughs> so I needed a new one and that's what I picked that up for 
and I picked up the larger tub of the CeraVe moisturising cream. Uh, I did speak about this in my kind of monthly roundup last month, so you'll know that I thoroughly enjoyed it. So I picked up the bigger tub. Do you know what was quite interesting? See, when I was in Boots, I said to the girl, <laughs> you're behind the mask as well, and I was like, oh, do you not have the CeraVe moisturising cream? Uh, just like the tub and she was like oh my god do you know how many people have asked me about that she was like since CeraVe's been on TikTok everybody's went mental for it and I was like fuck like I don't even use TikTok like so I had no idea um but she took me around to where the CeraVe was and she was like that's all there is left and there was like two things and I was like oh my god um one of which being this uh, and all the other stuff was, I think it was maybe like the face cream, like that one maybe, but without the SPF, this one was there. There was so much just gone, it was just obliterated. And then I did end up going into Superdrug as well for a wee peruse, um, I'll explain that in a minute. But I went into Superdrug as well and honest to God, I was like, all the CeraVe stuff in there was gone as well and I thought, obviously the youngsters, the youngsters have cottoned on, I wonder if it's to do with Hiram talking about CeraVe. Someone's talking about them anyway, clearly, because they're sold out, absolutely sold out. And speaking of skincare, I've got a packet of chewing gum as well. Picked that up because I was going to the dentist and I've not even bloody opened it. The dentist was fine, by the way. Um, they don't let you into the dentist. So I'm not being naive here, but most places that I've been, like I've had to go for hospital appointments and stuff, they still let you go and sit in the waiting room, but they've took away chairs and things like that. So there can only be four people in a waiting room instead of 12 like there used to be. So fair enough. But when I went to the dentist, I'm like standing at the door and the door's locked. And I thought, have I got my time wrong? Like what the fuck's going on here? And then a wee woman came, she's like, it's a glass door. So she's like that to me. Let me go and get my PPE on and then I'll come back to you. And lit honestly, I stood there for a good five, ten minutes and I was like, she forgot about me. And then she came back and actually it was the dentist himself. He came back and he was like, oh, is it Miss Campbell yet? On you go. Like, let's get you through. It just took me straight into the, like, the dentist room. What would you call that? Like, where you lie back and heart, all that stuff. Took me straight through, had a look at my teeth and was just like, yep, everything looks fine here. We'll see you in six months. And I was like... Excellent! Like, I don't want anything done anyway. But no, it was fine. I felt perfectly safe. Um, I, I I did have a brief moment when I got back in the car and I thought, oh my God, I've just had somebody's hands in my mouth and obviously he had gloves on. And I know he would have been perfectly safe because it's him at the risk as well. But for a brief moment, I just was like, oh, somebody's hands have been in my mouth. But everything was fine. Everything was good. I felt safe. It was fine. Let's move on to skincare because I did pick up, as I say, there was loads of inky list stuff. So, first of all, I bought a big can of my Low Thermal because it had like a nice like 30 years. But also, I go through this a lot. I think the last time they were doing an offer, so I ended up getting two of the smaller cans. But this time I thought, well, why not just buy the bigger can because it'll last me longer. So I picked that up. I then picked up this from Revolution Skincare. Now, I've never tried anything Revolution Skincare. I'm not going to say I'm against it. If you use Revolution Skincare, let me know what you think. Do you think it's good? I know they've got a lot of dupes for the ordinary stuff. Um, I feel like, though, it's not like they're dupable and they are, you know, a fraction of the price of the ordinary. So there's part of me that's a bit like, I don't really get why it's being duped. But Revolution are notorious for duping people. This right here looks absolutely identical to either Kate Somerville blemish, just throw it in the bin. The Kate Somerville like blemish treatment or the Mario Badescu one. So it's overnight targeted blemish lotion with calamine and salicylic acid. As I've said before, salicylic acid and me, not best friends for treatments all over the face, but would use it on a spot area. So I thought, if I buy this, and I use a little cotton bud, as and when I need it, just on a targeted area, let's see what it does. Let's see, it was £10, so it wasn't cheap. This is my point, like, okay, you're gonna dupe the big brands, and yes, it's less expensive than the likes of Kate Somerville and things, but it'll be interesting to see if it's any good. I, I will keep you boasted. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how I feel. Ugh, I feel a bit like I've, I'm a traitor. I've bought Revolution. I don't mind Revolution Beauty, but I feel like when brands like Live Revolution are then trying to go into skincare, I'm like, but we'll give it a go. We'll see. I'll let you know. I then picked up from the Inky List three products because I wanted to know like 
how they fare in comparison to the ordinary ones and as I said everything was out of stock online for ages. So I picked up the hyaluronic acid, I picked up the niacinamide and this one here the alpha hydroxy acid. Now this is like an exfoliating serum it says, uh, what does it say? This is in this comes under step three, basically. As I've said before, they've got this like little system where you, you say how how wearing it goes in your treatment. So obviously the hyaluronic acid is in the hydrate, the niacinamide and alpha hydroxy acid are both in the treatment. So the thing about the alpha hydroxy serum is obviously the, the ordinary do their lactic acid, which is an alpha hydroxy acid. Um, and I think the inky list do just the lactic acid as well. So I wondered, you know, well, what's in this? Is it lactic acid? What is it that's in it that makes it an alpha hydroxy acid serum? I don't know. I'm going to have to look into it. It seems very interesting. I then picked up two of the EcoTool sponges because mines are manky. However much I wash them, they probably need the bin. I've had them a good while now and they need to be put in the bin. So I picked up two of them because there was, was it buy one get one half price on accessories? So I picked up two of them. I then went to Superdrug, which was not the plan, but when I was in Boots, I was particularly looking for the Elf Wowbrow because mine's has run out. I've run out of my glossy boy brow as well and I needed a new one. But they didn't have it. They didn't have an elf stand at all, which, as I say, they had like all these other things, like a million and one other things. Huda Beauty, they had everything. They had everything. They've got Fenty Beauty, they've got everything now. Milani, Physician's Formula, like they've got all these things now in boots. So they didn't even have an elf stand, which surprised me because it's quite a reasonably sized boots at Silverburn. But I thought, right, I know for a fact there's one in Superdrug, so I'm going to go down there and got my wow brow. I get my wow brow in deep brown love it would have bought two to save me the hassle of having to go back when this one runs out um but they only had one left and i snaffled it up and while i was there i seen the bite size eyeshadows i know like i needed more eyeshadow like i need a fucking hole in the head but but they had all of them except pumpkin spice and I really would have only been interested in pumpkin spice and this one here, which is called hot jalapeno. So this is like the green one. And to be honest with you, the pumpkin spice one, because I've just, I, I just bought a couple, like I've ordered things from indie brands and I'm pretty sure I said to you and my wee like get ready me, I'd ordered like all these green stuff from Lethal Cosmetics. But I thought, Oh, it's, it's three pounds three pounds it's not much and actually so dinky and dead travel friendly and i just thought the colors were really nice so i picked this up as well and i do think it's really cute and i think uh, i'd seen Teresa's dead talk about these and it looks like the payoff of them is quite good as well for elf so picked that up as well i picked up a big hand soap I like getting my hand soap from tk maxx there's a couple of reasons why yes i could go into tesco as the supermarket, whatever, and get a massive hand soap for like three pounds and it would do me the job. But this is 3 99 which is not too bad for the size of it. And I really like the style of like what it looks like in my bathroom. I'm gonna be honest, you know how you get the Aesop, which is super duper expensive. Uh, that kind of stuff, I just like the aesthetic of this. And I did consider actually buying like a old brown glass bottle to have sitting on the side of my sink, but then I thought, if it falls in the sink and shatters or something like that. I do always recycle all my plastic. Um, anybody who's really alarmed for the amount of plastic that I've just shown you in this haul, I do always make sure to recycle it. Uh, I don't just bin it. Uh, I do take it to appropriate recycling places and the same with glass and things like that as well, just so you know. And I do try and recycle most of my beauty bits. Actually, when I was in Superdrug, they actually had like a recycling point for old beauty stuff, which I thought was very interesting at the moment considering COVID is going on. I don't know, but I thought, well, it's good to know you can still go and take your older stuff there. Uh, they also, do you know what they had in Superdrug? Superdrug had like lots of new brands as well. Uh, they had an actual flower beauty stand. Uh, I don't know if that'll be anybody is interested in that. I, when flower beauty came about, I really liked Drew Barrymore. I think she's really cool. Um, but I, I kind of was like not enthused enough to, it wasn't something like I need to go online and buy that. It was something I wanted to see it in real life before I made a decision on buying it. 
And then today when I seen it in real life, I was just a little bit like, yeah, I could pick up one of the like, they've got like almost like squeezy tubes for blush, a little bit like glossy. Yeah, I could pick up like a, a, a matte lipstick. Yeah, I could pick up like a highlight. But I just was like, I don't need any of it. There was nothing enough there that I was like, I need to have that. It made me want to go, ah, fuck it, I'm just gonna spend another fiver on something. And it's kind of like, um, I wanna say maybe like L'Oreal, Revlon price range. They're not super duper like reasonable. I think the mascara was 10.99, and what was the other thing that I looked at and I thought, oh, I might actually, I, I think it was the, the, the cheek stuff. Um, the, the kind of, what were they called? Like paint drops or something like that. Blushes. And they were 11 99 And I was like, that's kind of expensive. Like, for being in Superdrug, I suppose, I shouldn't be surprised now. There's the, like, it's just getting more and more expensive. But I just was a bit like, I don't need to spend 11 99 I've got a million cream blushes and a million in the squeezy tube. Like, I don't need it. So I just had a bit of restraint. Fucking amazing, right? Back to my hand soap. <laughs> You know how I love a fucking tangent. Right, anyway, so this is Savon Liquid de la Marseille, Marseille Liquid Soap. I think the bottom bit's meant to be in English. Marseille, English, uh, Marseille Liquid Soap. <laughs> this is a French brand. I have picked this up before and the reason I picked this one up is I've had this one which is Verbana. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And it's just like a nice fresh green smell. <laughs> a green smell, like a fresh cut grass smell and that's why I like it. But they also have a lavender one as well. That was there today, but I prefer the Verbana one. So that's the one I picked up. And then, as I said, I picked up these mugs. Now, uh, uh, uh. me and Alan usually have kind of kitsch, a little bit cheesy mugs, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I've got one with a hedgehog on it. He's got one with a chicken on it because he's a cock and I'm a bit spiky. <laughs> He's got one of the poop emoji mugs. Uh, I got it for his birthday one year and I've got like a, a mug that's like, I, I'd rather be with my cat. We've got silly kitsch mugs, which we do generally use just to have our kind of coffee from day to day. But a lot of our actual mugs that we have as a set were very, very chipped. And the ones like the hedgehog one that you've probably seen me use a million times was chipped and the Starbucks ones that I had were chipped. So I had a lot of mugs that were really chipped. So I have flung them all out and bought four of these. Now these were three pounds each, which I don't think is too bad. So this is like the kind of, there's a gray kind of, what do you call this again? Terrazano, this marl stuff, I don't know. And it was like blue inside. And the one I'm drinking out at the moment is a little bit more, it's a little bit, I see it's a slightly different color but it's green inside. So you can see how this one's a little bit more beige pink. This one's a little bit more blue gray. See, so I thought these were quite cute. So I bought four of them. I bought two of the green ones and two of the blue ones. And lastly, I picked up one of these candles. This is sandalwood and myrrh. I have had this one before and I think it's lovely. Do you know what it smells like? A clean smell, but I really like sandalwood. But there's part of me that's like, it smells like, it smells like sexy man. Smells like if I'd been out when I was younger, my guy smelled like that, I'd be like, hello, who am I talking to? And even if he was ugly, I'd have been like, hi, how are you? <laughs> like, hello, what's your name? Just one of those smells that you're like, that is nice. So I got that because obviously my bedroom is like a kind of gray pink aesthetic and I thought it'll go in here, but also smells really nice. I then went to accessorize and picked up a couple of headbands, because I really like headbands. Uh, actually 70% off in a lot of stuff in accessories at the moment. So I got one of the padded ones that's green. And I thought, yes, excellent for this time of year. It's gonna be amazing. Really, really like headbands. And then I got this one that's just like a, a tortoiseshell one. But I actually thought, that really looks quite pretty. Just a little one. I don't have many thin headbands, they're all a bit big. So I thought that would be quite nice. And then I picked up a couple of little bits of jewelry. I don't buy a lot of jewellery accessorise unless it's the Z or the Z. Like, it's just called Z. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. It's just got a Z above it. Wait, and I'll show you. There we are. Like, a Z. See what I mean? Like this Z. Z for accessorise. I don't know. Or Z by accessorise. I don't know who actually does it or if it's just like a 
thing. The reason I pick these ones up is because they are actually gold plated a lot of the time. So they last a lot longer and it's a reasonable price but I've got stuff that I've had for over six years now from this brand and they're fine. They're not staining, they're not went funny. Uh, this one here is actually like a little chain. This is a real dupe for the Missima, uh, Missima London. Maybe you've seen the ranges, I don't know, but they are fucking expensive. This is only £18 for the little bracelet and I do have the matching chain, so that's why I picked that up. And then I picked this one up, which I thought was so pretty. Look, it's like a little, it's not a jade, what is it? Aventurine, apparently, but it's like this green colour. Again, I really like it for this time of year. And I thought, that is pretty. So I picked those two up as well. And while I was in accessorise, I seen this. So it's one of these cliche fucking, absolutely cliche influencer bags. <laughs> but I know Space NK were selling these or doing the exact same version of these. Uh, they were the first ones to kind of do this style, I suppose. Uh, and they were dead expensive. So this was only £12 and I was like, actually, that's quite reasonable. And I like it for skincare and stuff, for travel. Um, I say that like I'm going travelling. I've got a cheek. I'm basically treating next week when we go away to the north of Scotland like I'm going actually abroad somewhere. But also, I'm like, you know, I will use this if and when we get to go abroad again. And also, I feel like if we have to stay at home now for the next maybe three to five years, oh God, can you imagine it? Then this will come in handy because you don't need to be actually monitoring 100 mils and all that kind of stuff. So. And lastly, I promise, this is absolutely it now. I picked up a couple of tops from H&M. Don't know if I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've yet to try them on, because obviously we can't try things on at the moment. But that is one of them. It's like, quite cute, I like it. And because I'd bought like the burgundy denim, I thought that would be quite nice over the top of like, well tucked in to the burgundy denim. I think it's all right, we'll give it a try on. I'll see how I go with it and let you know if I've kept it or not. If I've kept it, it might go into my monthly roundup, I don't know. Um, and then this one, which is like a t-shirt. Now, I really quite like off-cut band shirts and things. There's obviously no band name on this. Uh, it was only £5, so this is quite nice. Uh, I got this in a medium, but it's like one of these kind of muscle tee type things. And a kind of beigey colour. And again, I thought actually that would go nice over the blue, the burgundy, or the black denims that I've got. So I'll see how I like that. But I like ones that come and show a little bit of side tip. I'm not gonna lie, a little bit of side boob. I love it because, you know, by the time I have a baby or whatever, those babies will be at my knees and I'll not be showing so much side boob. So see while I can. I'm gonna be showing the side tip, don't care. Uh, but that was the two little things I picked up from H&M. Can't stay, I'm definitely gonna keep this one. We'll see how that goes. But I'll definitely keep the muscle tee. I thought that was quite nice. Quite like the color as well. Thought it was lovely, it's dead soft. Anyway, thank you for sticking around for that very, very lengthy haul. Uh, I know a lot of people really like haul videos and I know a lot of people fucking loathe them because people are like, why are you just showing us all the shit you bought? I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I quite like watching a haul video. I'm, I'm on the fence about it. Uh, I certainly wouldn't show any of this stuff to be like, yo, go buy it. Like, I'm selling you. Nobody is paying me to do this. Nobody, this is my hobby. And YouTube is my fucking hobby. But, I don't want anybody to feel like as if, oh, I better go ahead and buy that now. Like, don't. Only only buy things that are within your means. Only buy things if you know, you know, you've got fucking food on the table and a roof over your head and you're paying your bills. Don't put yourself in any debt. Don't be silly. And all I can say is, I don't put myself in any debt to do this either. It's my money. I'm allowed to spend it however I will. And I can assure you, nothing's on a credit card. So, I just, I'm just a squirrely person. I can save. I'm good at squirreling away. And my other half would dispute that massively with me, but I can actually save quite well and treat myself at the same time. I don't have children. That's another point as well. I know a lot of people watching be like, fuck, clearly you don't have children. No, I don't. I don't. And that's not me being like, fuck kids. Like, I would like to have children one day. It's getting very deep and meaningful, this fucking whole video now. I would like to have children one day, but at the moment, I don't have that expenditure. So I expend on myself. Be of that. <laughs> Do think what you like. I'm not bothered. And with all that being said, I will see you all next time. I hope you've enjoyed. If you haven't, please don't judge. And I'll see you later. Bye.